need to refresh the page. Just add. Just add a piece of paper out. Where did I put it? Ah, there it is. So yeah, I'm sure you can. While everybody's waiting to join me. Hi Sarah. Just finding. Um, should have done this before. Look. done is I'm putting Deja's website in code which gives you code sign okay. send off and it's from 9pm to 12 um, tonight I'm going to try and see if I can pin that. No, I can't pin it. Ugh. Thought I could pin it. Right, okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight it then. I thought I could pin it and keep it up to the top. Obviously, I can't. Don't mind. Hi Vanessa. Um, I think I've missed it. Hi Aranji. Hi ladies. How is everybody doing today? I'm just going to give it a couple more seconds for you all to join us. Now what I've done is um, I put in the chat um, the website that... Hi Sarah. I put in the website. Um, it's lovely Deja's website. For, for you all to pop on over she's given me um a code which is code sign and that allows you to have 30 percent off um her crafting things in her shop um but it doesn't include the santaro santaro um goods but everything else it includes and it's from nine till twelve tonight uk uk time so that allows you nine ten eleven twelve four hours which i'll be off by then <laughs> be off by then so but i'll keep um i thought i could pin it to the chat top of the chat but i obviously can't so i'll keep um copying and pasting it and if um and if you can copy and paste i know it'll busy you up if you could do it while i'm crafting that'd be ace um so yeah code sign is the budget hiya wendy Give it a couple more seconds for everybody to start joining us. We didn't want to forget about that. Right, tonight, oh, I am so excited. I did a bit of a um, collect you can put into the drop down too, honey. Can you? Oh, wait a minute then. I don't know whether I can. Um, add, edit video. Oh, description bar. But wait, isn't it? Oh. All oh, right. Okay, there we are. Now i got to find me again. Thank you, Sierra, because I didn't realise you could do that. Don't have to copy and paste it now because it's in the drop-down bar. Um, There I am. So, yeah, there it is. Thank you, Sierra. Thank you so much. If you click edit you can put it in the yeah i flicked it i got it thank you so much so 
I don't have to I don't have to concentrate about putting that in numerous times now because I thought I had to which makes it um better for me actually because I thought I had to put it in numerous times so thank you so much my computer's playing silly buggers um I'm just going to minimize the chat a minute if you go underneath the video um see it's just taught me how to do it I didn't realize you could do it but if you go underneath the video you've got um Deja's uh website and you've got the code um which when you finish shopping at the bottom it'll say discount or vouchers or something along those lines and if you type in code sign it allows you 30 percent off and that's from 9 till 12 and i didn't realize you could do that while you were still on live so thank you so much that allows me then to just craft be with you guys you're so welcome me. No, you can just tell them to check out the drop down menu. I didn't even, I didn't think you could do that, but I suppose because I'm doing it from a different one, then I suppose you can do it. Hi, Laurel. So thank you, Sierra. That's what I'm going to do from now on is put it in the drop down bar. Okay, so you're looking at my, um, um what are you looking at my computer you're looking at my computer i think then you're looking at my computer at the moment because um a couple of weeks ago or oh, two three lives back hi adorn marie hi laurel um we did a cd we did a um we did a i'm trying to think a cd rom on alice in wonderland which was this cd Journey to Wonderland. That's the one we did on, and we made um card, I believe, out of there. And then in the group, we made a little box that was on the CD ROM. We did we've been through everything that's on the CD ROM. So um on YouTube, Tammy won the CD ROM, and on the our group, Angie won the CD ROM. So, ladies, just to let you both know, your CDs have arrived to me. But since I'm going to have some goodies to go along with those CDs um, and I want to make you a few um, bits and pieces that you can use in your projects, that's what's taking a little bit of time. But you will have it, no doubt, by the end of next week, well before then. Um, and then I'm going to start working on Rose's little package that she won from me last time we were live. So um, we did that one now. I got asked the same question, so if you've seen me do this on my group, um, I try not to, you know, go out over everything, but sometimes the ladies that are on YouTube aren't on Facebook, especially in our group, and I just feel like sometimes I've got to go through th other things, because otherwise I miss out. So, what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> on the CD, I kept getting asked, Journey to Wonderland, Alison, um, it's an Alice in Wonderland CD-ROM, so it goes into your computer. I kept getting asked, does it take Windows 10? Now, all I do, I don't sell them. De lovely, the lovely Deja sells them. And um, I just, I do a review basically on things I buy from a shop. And that's what I do. So, but since I was getting asked the same question over and over again, it just made sense to ask her whether it took Windows 10. Now, a lady had bought this for a Windows 10 computer and it wasn't coming up the way it, were, it was coming up. Like I could click in and I could go into the papers and then I could go, go into the toppers. What happened with her Windows 10 was it would come up in listed of files and she had to click through each individual one to get to the one that she wants. So it still works, but the layout is very different. So um, that's for Windows 10. Now, on the back, like I said, it still works. So you could still go through the file. It, it, it's not as if you bought the CD and it won't work. It still does. But it just doesn't come up the way I had it displayed a couple of weeks back. So, uh, to answer your question, Wendy, Forever Purple is Laurel. <laughs> that's her name. I get muddled up with names too. But now that's the lovely Laurel. Right, so this CD um, ROM, I'm going to switch my light on if I can get to it. It takes over just over 500 different elements, which means that you can, you've got your papers. 
you've got um, your papers, you've got toppers, you've got sentiments, you've got absolutely everything. But this takes 500. Now I, sorry for the shaking of the camera. Now I went over to Deja's store and Deja's got um, different CDs on there at the moment, CD-ROMs. I'll show you which one she's got on there and then I'll show you the one which one we bought. So this is Deja's site. If you go into projects and I kept getting asked this as well. How do you get the papers up? How do you get this up? In Deja's site, you've got to think of these like little as little folders. So in each little folder, you'll find different things. For example, if I went into the embellishment kit, there should be a drop down with like different things. So think of them as mini folders that you've got to go into. So we're going to go into the craft CD ROMs and it'll bring up this, right? So on the side, there is a drop down menu and you've got Alice Dimensions, which is not that one. Um, I'm not sure what the Alice Dimension ones are, but that's not Alice and Dimensions, that's Journey to Wonderland. This is the Steampunk one, so if you're into Steampunk, that there's a one for you. This is the Alice one, there's another Alice one. This is Alice 2, uh, Alice Journey to Wonderland. Now, Fairy Re Lem. <laughs> I've been told that the A is a silent A, not to pronounce the A. So it's, I think it's Re Lem. I might have pronounced that wrong, I think. So. I'm not sure. <laughs> that's the one I've got, and that's the one I'm going to go through tonight. Legend of Unicorns, so if you like Unicorns, she's got that one in. Angels, she's got that one in. Um, large Decapod Delight every day. I'm very tempted to buy one of them because that to me looks like images. I'm not sure. I see, I don't know what's on each one of them. Mermaids Under the Sea. And the last one is Winter Fairies. Now that's on Deja's site. I'm just going to get the chat back up so I can see you guys saying um so that's on each site so she's got different cds so whatever you're into i'm sure there's a cd that you can find hi sam so i bought this one <laughs> say the r sound and then said and then elm i know it's a weird word r elm r elm fairy fairy r r re lem Fairy real M. Is that how you pronounce it? Fairy real M. I think. <laughs> well, anyway, I got this. Uh, uh, I'm never going to get it with Laurel. Angie's tried and I can't get it. But you guys know that. <laughs> you know, guys, I know I'm trying. Anyway. <laughs> Hiya, Sarah. So, I bought this one. Now... The difference between there's a difference between the two CDs. They both look they're, they're exactly the same size. They're done by the same um, designer, which is Debbie Moore. Now all the CDs that um, Deja's got on a site, they're all done by the same designer, so they're all done by the same Debbie Moore. But this is what I think it is, right? So this one, like I say doesn't show when you put it in a windows 10 program it doesn't show the way i've got it up but it does take windows 7 8 takes vista apple mac and links um but that's not to say it doesn't work on windows 10 this has only got 500 different elements absolutely brilliant cd if you're into alice in wonderland i've been printing and printing and printing and i've made different things out of it this very one has got over 2,000 different elements on there. So I'll read you what's on the back. It says this easy to use CD contains over 200 different elements that you can print over and over and over again. The Enchanting Re Lem <laughs> CD Ron contains different sheets, papers, toppers, word toppers, tags, sentiments, embellishments, inserts, and envelopes. Debbie Moore's new range of CDs. So this is where I think the difference is. So the newer range of Debbie Moore CD-ROMs 
has more on it and i think this is one of the newer ones um and that's not to say that there's a lot on there because i mean come on 500 different elements is pretty good anyway but to get 2000 that means you're widening your projects you're widening what's on there you're widening everything that's on there i'm just gonna hide the notifications that come up from youtube so anyway it says on the back of this one now the writing on the back of the journey to the wonderland is quite small and unless you sometimes when you put a cd in your computer you can get a bit daunting because it can come up with like different um options do you want to run this do you want to open this do you want it to go here do you want it to go there i'm gonna go through it all with you um now i opened this on my facebook group but when you get a cd uh rom that you know that goes for dvds cds and a cd rom now a cd rom is a cd that goes into your computer a cd is what plays music and a dvd is what plays films basically every each one of those always has like um a security tag and it's over where you open the case now if it hasn't got that tag hi tammy if it hasn't got that tag you need to send it back to wherever you've got it from because that could mean that it's damaged it can mean that it's broken it can mean that somebody's opened it and taken the disc out of it so always make sure that with anything new you get cd dvd or cd roms and if i am speaking too fast let me know <laughs> always make sure that there's a security tab on there now like i said i opened this up on my facebook group so unfortunately i can't show you the tab and i wrapped tammy's and angie's up so i can't show you theirs either so um that's that's the first thing the second thing on the back of this cd i noticed different is it gives you an instruction on how to set it up so it, it also gives you it gives you two instructions actually the first one it gives a very simple instructions and it should work the way i'm going to work it in a second and then the next instruction, it tells you exactly what buttons to press um, to find your CD. Because if it doesn't come up straight away, then it may come up a little bit later. Can you, it doesn't come up straight to, I'll come, I'm um, just seeing Wendy's question and I will answer in a sec. I was just saying, if it doesn't come up on um, straight away when you plug it in, then you've got the second instruction on the back of the CD-ROM. And then that'll take you then, if you follow the instructions, you should be able to find it. Now, Wendy's asking me a question. Can you use this on a laptop? Yes and no. Yes, you can use it on a laptop if you've got something that a that is a CD that you can put CDs in. So on the side, I'm using a computer. Um, Chris, my husband, spilled tea on my laptop and he bought me a computer but on the side of your laptop wendy you should see um it should be like well i'll show you what it should be like now because it's exactly the same on a computer except it's on the side of your laptop if you can't see it then it doesn't take cds which in turn means you can't put cd rom into your laptop so I'm going to show you what you should see on the side of your laptop in a second. Like I say, if you don't see it on your laptop, it won't take CD-ROMs. The newest laptops do have the CD do have the um, CD drive. That's what they're called. They do have a CD drive in them, and that means that you can press a button on the side of your laptop, and then the little um, pocket i call them pocket there's another word for it but it pops out your pcd in and then you can play it but the older versions of laptops not all of them have it so yes and no so it all depends on what type of laptop you've got um if you could let me know the make and the model then my hubby is quite good on laptops and he'll be able to tell you whether your laptop can take a cd rom right now i'm going to show you how to plug this in so on your computer well i'm using a computer like i say it's a it's a dell six months old is it um do you know the make and the model so you've told me the model do you know the 
Oh. Del, um, you've told me the make. Do you know the model? I'll, I'll show you what it should have. Now, if you bear with me, you should see what you should be able to see it on the side of your laptop. So I'm going to try and make you feel dizzy and I really apologise for it. But you're going down to the floor. Now you've got to excuse the drive, uh, the drive, you've got to excuse the mess on the floor. Right, this here is what they call a CD drive. Now as long as you should have one of these on the side of a laptop and you should be able to see that, your button to open it will be on the side now on a computer it's underneath and you press it and it pops out so it, it should have one of them on the side and you will it'll either be it could be on either side left or right doesn't really matter some uh, laptops either have it on the left hand side some have it on the right but as long as you've got the cd um drive you can plug any cd in you can plug any seed rom in and you can also plug um films in did you know you can plug films in proper films you can plug them in too so um yeah so i'm gonna put the um fairy cd now with a cd rom there's a couple of things that i always say when i was doing this last time around put your cd in now your case uh, first off, when your CD goes in, make sure you close it straight away because what will happen is we can't see dust in the air and we can't see it and um, what will happen is because the, uh, on a computer and a laptop especially, there's an open gap underneath and dust, if you've got that CD driver and you forget to close it, dust will start gathering on that. And then when you push it back in, you're actually pushing the dust back into your computer or laptop. And that can ruin your laptop and computer. And in turn, can make it, um, it can make it slower. And it can sometimes, if you've got enough dust gathering in that computer or laptop, it can shut it down completely. The other thing I always said in the last time is with a CD case, never just leave it open. Again, there's two reasons. One, again, dust will gather on the actual the inside of the case. Now, this is where the CD is protected. Otherwise, they would just send them out in a um, cellophane bag and you wouldn't need a case. A case is what protects the CD from getting um, your CD damaged. Sarah says, if your laptop does not have one, Wendy, you can buy an external CD drive that plugs into your USB port that are about £10 on eBay. Yes, that's right, Sarah. You are right there. You can. Um, you can. Yes, you can. I forgot you can buy them. You were correct. Um, you can. Um, if you do buy them, some the only problems with them is, and this is what I've only been told by Happy, is that some computers take them as laptops and some don't so make sure that the cd because the cd drive sometimes has to match i'm sure the cd drive has to match up with your, your laptop and your computer um sometimes it doesn't sometimes it does again if it's an old computer and it's an old model or make it doesn't matter but if it's um it does matter if it's a newish one then it does I'll try. I'll, I'm trying my best to remember everything I can on these uh, computers because I know um, I'm going to zoom you back up. I'm going to um, know that when you buy CD-ROM, especially when you're buying your first one, you want to make sure that it works, right, ladies? You don't want to be paying um, whatever the amount is and then find out that it doesn't work on your computer. So I'm trying to remember everything. So I'm so glad that you ladies are coming up with things that I'm effectively forgetting so thank you so much for reminding me and for letting me read it out so that um ladies that are watching and want to know these type of things know so thank you sarah and um sam for your comments because they do um they are reminding me and what to say so thank you so very, very much it is the speed of the usb port yes you plug it in 
what Sarah's trying to say is when you have um you can buy the external CD drives. Now hubby hubby does have one, so I can show you one if that helps. Chris Chris can I lend your CD drive, please? Can I lend your CD drive? Can I lend it? Because you unplugged it in. I need to lend it to show the ladies what it looks like. So, um, on my hubby's computer. Hi, Shaz. He has unplugged his CD drive in. So, his computer doesn't take, at the moment, doesn't take CDs. But... He has bought one so I can, I'm able to show you what it looks like right the case I'm going to tell you a bit about the case before I forget hi Shaz sorry my love so the case it's got to be protected it's got to protect your CD from any dust particles um it protects it from getting scratched or anything like that so always remember even if your CD is in your computer or laptop to close it up I always close mine up and never leave it open we're on about um See, oh, thank you. We're on about whether a um, if you haven't got a CD drive, Sarah was saying that you can buy. Oh, you can buy external, portable ones. External CD drives. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, and then about ten pound on eBay. Do yeah. they look like these? Um, a little bit, but it's okay. it's got a USB attached. To okay. It of... So they look like these. That's what a CD drive effectively looks like. That's what plugs into your computer or laptop. It's a lot thinner if it's a laptop, but if you're buying an external one, it'll which is what Sarah again. suggested, it'll be a lot thinner and it'll have one of these attached. One of these cables. And a USB port is on, it's on laptops and computers, but that's what it'll have on the end. Um, and it'll be a lot thinner, but that's what a CD drive effectively is. That's what allows you to take CDs in. I hope that helps. So thank you, uh, Sarah, for letting me know about that. Okay, so we've plugged it in, and as you can see, it hasn't popped up. So we're going to go and find it now. So I'm going to minimise the chat, so I'm not going to be able to see you guys for a second while I show you how we're going to go about doing it. But I will pop on um, and look on my other device and see whether you've got any questions. And if you have, can you um, put them in capital letters for me to see that they are questions and I'll be able to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm going to minimise all this and we're going to go search for our CD. Now it hasn't popped up. The Alice in Wonderland popped up straight away. So we're going to go and search for it. So the first thing we do, we're going to go in the bottom left hand corner and that's called the start button. We need to go to the computer and then this comes up and it looks a bit like, it looks a jargon. Sorry to be my pain. Sorry to be a pain. My name is spelled Sarah. But my... Oh, right. Okay. You're not being a pain. I'd rather you tell me than me, me carry on the live and pronounce your name wrong so i my, my apologies for pronouncing your name wrong sarah it's a lot easier for me to remember actually sarah so you're completely fine i don't um i don't pronounce anybody's name wrong on purpose please know that i don't um as you could clearly see the word after fairy on the cd i was struggling <laughs> i was struggling um i have dyslexia so it comes words and names and everything like that just sort of goes over my head and i really struggle with it so sarah it is it's really easy to remember for me and i'm so glad you told me so please um if, it is, if i do pronounce your name wrong please let me know so this will come up if actually now i've zoomed you back up so you can see what i'm doing so this is what you're looking for you're looking for a dvd drive and that will go that is telling me that the computer's recognised that I've put a CD in the DVD, in the CD-ROM. CD-ROM in the drive. Double click it. Now, this CD, for whatever reason, comes up on the internet. The other one didn't. The other one came up as a programme. But there is a way of downloading this onto your computer. 
Oh, you're fine, sweetie. I have dyslexia too, so I completely understand. Oh, bless. Oh, thank you, Sierra. Um, there is a way so you can download all this onto your computer, so you don't have to keep uploading and reloading the CD. But for me and for my use, and I know if it was up on the computer, um, A, it would take up a lot of space because let's not forget, this has got over 2,000 different elements and we will go through some of those elements in a second. Um, and it's going to take up a lot of memory basically on your computer. So for me, I would rather keep my memory for my videos that I upload onto YouTube for you guys to watch in the meantime while I don't do lives. So I don't download the program that goes with any D CD ROMs I buy. The these are the only two that I bought. I bought another one, but I can't mention it at the moment. We knew what you meant. I don't have dyslexia. I d oh goodness me! I'm gonna try and find this chat now. We knew what you meant. I don't have dyslexia, but I'm still blathering in Egypt half the time. Oh bless! Hi, Lisa. If I'm speaking so fast that you can't understand me, tell me to slow down. <laughs> Bill, I can see me trying to speak quick because I don't want to forget anything that I've um, remembered. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is what it comes up as. Um, enchanting relam whatever the word the other word says and it says debbie more designs bring you inspiration to you that's the first thing you'll see at the top and then you've got all this at the bottom that's basically all the um images some of the images that are on there now these are like the little files then that you want to be looking at so the first couple of files the last two files don't want to be bothered about that one I saw the fairy and popped in. <laughs> I saw the fairy and popped in. It should be blonde. Oh, bless. So the last two I don't bother with because the, la the last two is the help section. So if you need any help with this, which I don't think you'll need any help because once you get the hang of using it, you'll, you'll get the hang... You'll get the hang of using it, so you won't need to go into that help section. But if you need it, it's there anyway. The quit is to quit out the CD. Now, what I tend to do is just close the program down, as I would normally as if I was closing the internet down. So for those that are not internet um, internet savvy, as I call it, it's the top right-hand corner, it's the cross, and that's how I close it down. And then I'm able to take the CD uh, out of my CD ROM where I've just showed you, put it back in its case, and then it's there next time I want to use it. So these are the options what we've got. Now we've got design sheets, we've got papers, we've got inserts, envelopes, matte, pa matte papers, embellishments, segments, tags, word toppers, blank toppers, and projects. Now, I even though this is all on paper, we are going to be doing something fabric tonight. We're not going to be doing uh, paper. We're, we're going to use the CD, but we're going to do it into fabric form. So, um, ladies, what number would you like to go into first? Now, I've got it from 1 to 11. Wow, it's 1130. Half past time. So what what I can still see the chat on my phone. I'm gonna get it back up on my computer so I can still see you. Now you've got one is design sheets, two is papers, three is inserts, four is envelopes, five is matte papers, six is embellishments, seven is said um sentiments, eight is tags, nine is word toppers. 10 is blank toppers and 11 is projects so so far i've got 11 4 and 6. six how will at least four five four i love the envelopes for the emblems okay so okay so since we've got two for four we'll go into four first and then i'll go into 11 and six so i'm going to minimize the chat so again I'm not going to be able to start at one. 
and Tamara, Ta Tammy says four, Shirley says four. So I'll do four first for you guys. So again, I minimised the chat so I can't see it quite clearly on my computer. But every now and then I can see it on my other device. So I'm going to go into four and it comes up with this section. So it comes up with large envelopes, C6 envelopes or square envelopes. Now, envelopes are envelopes to me. There are different sizes. Of course, there are. So let's go into the large envelopes. I don't know. Then we're faced with the colour. Now, I don't know. I haven't been in the envelope section. There's only so many of these um, things I've been into so far. I haven't really sat down properly and gone into everything. So what colour would everybody like? Are we going for pinks and purples? Because that's what kind of that is. Green, peach, black. Uh, I think that's a baby blue. And that is... I don't know what colour that is. That's like a real dark green. So we've got dark green, green, peach black or pink and purple. Pink and purple are the same one. Pinks and purples, purples. Right, everybody's saying pinks and purples. Okay. So it comes up with this. So this is what we're faced with. So this is what we're faced with. So this is our front, I should imagine. And it says large envelope base, so that's your base. Cut, and they're saying where to cut it, and score is to cut, to score it. So there is a line you see the, the the separating lines. That's where you would score it. Um, and then there's a sort of a line that goes all the way around that you would cut it. And then these are the back. This is the back of the envelope. And then these are the adhere to tabs on the base. So these are the tabs on the back. I'm going to print this out because you'll be able to see when I bring you back over to the craft table what it looks like in paper form. So can you see it a bit better there? So there's the base. There's the sort of the, the flap of the envelope then, as I would call it. And then this is the bottom and the sides of the back of the envelope. not long yeah um, yeah um i'm still joining i'm still joining you i might finish mine and then come on to yours is that okay hi jane i turned right so um i'm gonna print this because like i say you'll see it better in um and i printed it out and I'm not ignoring everybody. Hi, Karen. Hi, Jane. Hi, Therese. I remembered your name. Right, so that's printing. Now I'm going to go into... Where do we go? Oh, there it is. Right, so envelopes. So we've done envelopes. All the envelopes look the same. They're all the same colours. What else did you guys say? Number 11 and number... What was it? Number 11 projects was number 11. Which are these. These are the projects. It comes up with card projects, basically. That's what they are. Happy early birthday, Wendy. I'll definitely join you, Laurel, definitely. Probably finish mine off and I'll come over and join you. If I'm if I'm late on this, if I'm sort of it's, it's not in sync if you know what i'm trying to say hi i'm hi lorna so that's what projects it comes up so it comes up as card projects so if i clicked on let's click i don't know let's click on this one so this is the card project that it comes up as so it gives you the materials you need it gives you a list of the equipment and then it gives you the list of the instructions and how you would go about creating that beautiful, gorgeous card. Out of everything on that CD, you'll find everything on that card. Six was the other one, okay? So that's what's in projects. And they all all these are sort of different ones. I mean, this, if I click on this one, you'll see a different project, a different looking card. I think we did this one on the group. 
um, but I did mine slightly slightly different to that so um, what was the other one six six was embellishments so embellishments again now these come up in different colors you've got black and white brown greens pinks blues um, we'll go pinks and purples that is an amazing CD it is Lisa definitely and in pinks and purples we get this I'm gonna put it on the print page for you to see it a bit better and um, what was I gonna say yeah I'm just looking at the chat stop again right okay start again in this one you get how to do uh, flowers so you would cut each section out and then you would get your flower and then you'd get your leaves um, and it tells you what pieces to cut out to get your flowers so that's what embellishments they've got so that's the first thing so that's the first embellishment I'm going to print that out I'm going to go back and then I'm going to go to now down the bottom on most of these it gives you pages so it gives you to the page to the next one so they've got embellishments pages two and then in this one i'm going to go pinks in this one you're getting nicer things so i'm going to go to the print page for you to clearly see what everything that's on there you get the corner pieces you get the flower pieces the rolled ribbon like flower um rolled ribbon flowers you know where you can cut it out on the squiggly line and then roll it up to create a flower Hi Debbie, hi Dawn Marie, hi Karen, um, you get the leaves and then you get the words, so in each, each sort of file on the CD there's words somewhere along the line, um, I've printed some out that I may use tonight and others that I'm going to be creating as well with, but the, this one says daughter, friend, mom, sister, nana, mum, cousin, auntie, um, that's what's on page that's what's on that page now i've already printed this page out but i'm not going to be doing that one i'm going to go to page three for you to see the embellishments and on page three again we've got pinks because we all like pinks and i'm going to go to the print button and you'll see that's what's on there do you know what i mean it's the elements and the different things that are on this cd um you could make you could go forever on this CD and you can continue to make um, projects and projects and projects. So this is what this is on this CD and you've got like the mushrooms, the leaves, the butterflies, the flowers. I love these like little leaves that are dandling down. They're gorgeous. I'm going to print some of them off too. So now they come up as little tabs at the top. I just close them down. So that's what's basically on them and like I say each one brings up a different different things like I mean word toppers now so this one is the images that we're going to be using tonight is this from DJ shop yes it is from DJ shop Lorna um, I'm using the enchanting re re lem re lem <laughs> cd rom um i'm going to be using these images I'm, i wasn't sure whether to use pink or purples or the purple ones um i'm going to be print i'll print these out again and i will show you but i have and it's got wording on there as well so while that's printing i'm now going to move you over to um my table but like you say this has got 2000 elements on there and you could keep going and going and going and going with the cd and i'm sure that you could craft wise and if you're making journals and if you're making scrapbooks you could just go forever and ever and ever and there's nothing um on there that i can see that would stop you doing a project like this especially if you love furries but i'm going to take what they've got on you and i'm going to put it in fabric form and i'm going to show you I learned um i was messing about the other day and i learned a technique on how to transfer an image from paper onto fabric without the freezer paper and the printer and all that well you do need a printer but you know what i'm trying to say so i'm gonna try and raise you out and i'm gonna 
put you up on to you and I guess you did see my mess there's 30% off so if you go in the description bar below underneath um DJ has given me 30% off discount code and the code is code sign oh come on Sorry guys, the, my, oh, come on, right, I'm going to move my mouse and everything, that's the CD that I've got to try and figure out where I am now. I'm going to get the chat up as well so I can see you guys talking to me. Lorna's in the description box. It's 30% off time. It is, definitely. It is from Deja's um, disc um, shop. And thank you, Angie, for the thumbs up. I can see. Show her some love. Oh, thank you, guys. I would run my printer out of ink in one night with our CD. Lisa, do you know what? I've been doing the exact same thing. Um, I've been printing and printing and printing. I must admit, my I pay for my ink a month, and it's gone up since I've been on these CDs. So daisy. Now I just want to check with you that that picture isn't. Um, it should be. No, I knew it wasn't. Oh come on. Don't play me up. There we are. That's better. Right. I'm going to get this stuff up. Just a second. Okay. So. This is what it comes up as. Right. So. Like I said. I've printed some of the images that we're going to use tonight. This is what we've printed so far. Love the Alice in Wonderland. Can't wait to get my Alice CD. Yeah, Tammy. Um, I don't know. I I don't know whether you heard me say. I have got it. Um, I am making new things to go with it. So, but I have got you and Angie because Angie went on Facebook, and you went on the YouTube. I have got both your CDs. Um, and they will be. You will have it by. Well, Tammy, you'll have yours by Tuesday, Wednesday next week. And the same with you, Angie. So I'm making you things to go with it. Have you ordered? Tammy went on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've got it. Promise you won't be long. Um, Tammy went on my YouTube. Um, I give I gave a CD away last time I did a. Last time I did the CD one. Right. Okay. So that's the CD that I've showed you all. And this is what we've printed out. So we've got make a wish where you believe there is magic, you'll find it. May all your dreams come true. These are like the little pieces that you can cut out in paper form. But like I said, I'm going to show you how to put it onto fabric in a second. The flowers and the leaves. They are gorgeous. Now these are the envelopes and I know most of you were so keen for me to show you the envelopes. So this is the front of the envelope, right? This is sort of the, the flap at the top. And then these are the sides and then the bottom of the envelope. But this is the large envelope. When I went to envelopes, I clicked the large envelope. These are fairies I like. I make fairy sob, no Disney la la hopeless. Well, I will show you what we're going to be making tonight. So those are what I've printed out. Now, la I cut these out. No, I cut these out. I cut these images out from um, the CD ROM. And we're going to use one or two of them in our... Um, I'm making, this is what I'm making, I've told you what we're making yet. We're making a fabric pin book. Now, you've all seen me put together now a, a, a pin, 
of the fabric before now I did this on my sewing machine so basically I've used two pieces of nice fabric and then I've used a quite a thick chunky fabric sort of like this kind of thickness in between because I didn't have anything I didn't have any flat um what do you call it flat what's the word what's the word I'm looking for stuff in didn't have any flat stuff in so instead i used fabric so it's quite thick and chunky it's not going anywhere and i did it on my sewing machine i sewed all the way around the edges and i sewed dead in the center now this i haven't sewed on the bottom i've oh, bad in and warden thank you ladies um i've sewed on each side but i haven't done on the bottom because we're gonna make something of this now and i wanted to do fabric to show how the cd can be versatile and you can use it in your fabric form so these are the images now this is the book I'm put the words aside a second and i don't want the image to be too dark it needs to be quite light in order for it to be transferred um we could do something like that just want to show you some of these images see how they're gorgeous they are so beautiful there's that one that one says raindrops are like fairy whispers there's that one make a wish um each season is a telescope of color to enjoy i'm sure i've read that wrong and then there's this one so I'm debating in between four and the four that I'm debating on whether to use because this is our fabric I'm gonna go fairified with it of course are these these are my four images to go on the front cover so I want you to tell me what image to pick so do I pick number one to go on it's gonna be on fabric I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second number one number two bearing in mind the word in my I don't want any wording at the moment because it's going to be covered in, in a second. Number three. And don't worry about the wording. We can always cut around the image in a second. And then number four. So what one? One to four. They remind me of hunky-dory papers, but the colours are more suitable on the CD. Yes, Sarah, um, Sarah. Yes, they definitely are. Number four, Tammy says number four. Oh, good night, Lisa. Thank you for stopping by. Number two. So that was three. That was number two. That oh, says two. Number four, Julian says. Oh, hi, Julian. I didn't see you come in, my lovely. Number four, Julian says. I've got two for four, two for two. Oh. Go one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I've been saying two. So you're all saying this one. Am I correct? One, two, three, four. I've had four for four and one, two, three, four, five, six for two. Yeah. All right, okay. Bearing in mind, I will try and keep the writing, but I don't know whether I'm going to be able to achieve that with what I have in mind. Okay? Because this is what... Mm, Tammy, you're going to see one of your embellishments, but this is what I'm going to go for. I'm going to be making one of these, but in a fairy form. This is going to Tammy for her challenge. Tammy wanted some handmade embellishments, so... Tammy, I know you've seen this, and I will do a VR, but I haven't finished making the other one. But yes, I'm going to make one of these to put on the book. So that's what I was thinking, and um, the writing might be covered, but we can cut around the fairy, so it doesn't really matter. Um, and then, that's what. so that's what we're achieving to make. And then these are the wording. So I'm going to put some wording inside, 
wow it's stunning and thank you Tammy I'm so glad you like it and Sam says it's beautiful thank you Sam so the, the wording is like to a fairy good friend time to sparkle you're a fairy you're fairy tastic with love, thank you, make a wish. It's all different wording. And these are from all the CDs, so it was really beautiful. Now, how do you transfer it? So I'm going to move my heart mat, which I'm, I'm in love with at the moment. Move these images. If you don't need this at the moment, you'll need scissors. Now, I usually got a, a, a pair of scissors for fabric, a pair of scissors for craft, and a pair of scissors for anything else in between so what you need is now i'm using um cotton um it's the the same cotton that i was using to do the tilda doll with i know i haven't finished to doing but that's what i've been it's the same cotton you can use any type of fabric but it does need to be if you think about it i've tried it see this let me explain a bit more, right? Because the I tried it with this image, and this image came out like it. You're not going to have it perfect, um, but I don't want it to be perfect because it's fairyland. Um, this image was purple to begin with, and it came out that way. And the imperfections I love, which I am absolutely in love with, um, I love it. So the the this idea didn't come from me. Um, I actually watched um, Tammy, no Tammy, it's because I'm reading your comments, uh, Maggie, I watched Maggie's White's first ever tutorial the other day and she used a different technique to what I'm using because I couldn't get on with the technique that she did. So I sat there and I played about and I, and I came up with my own technique of use, doing it but I suppose that, the you know, I suppose the technique is out there somewhere. Um, so these are what the images turn out. This was my second attempt. When you're using quite a faded image, so an image that hasn't got much colour, you're not going to get much colour on the actual fabric. So even though that came out really, really pretty, there isn't much colour to it because there wasn't much colour on the paper to begin with. This one turned out purple because the colour was there to begin with. And then I did this one this afternoon and this one came out absolutely gorgeous because there was a lot more colour to it. Um, now I'm not printing on photocopy paper, I'm printing on, that's been printed on card. Just pure card I had from Hobbycraft. Um, I can't remember what thickness it is. To be fair, I took them out packet and I just put them in my little folder that I keep card in. But any card will do it. Um, I did let the images sit for a while to let the ink rest because you are going to use a technique of smearing something on top so make sure that the ink is completely dry before you um, go ahead and do the next step. So what you need to do now I'm going to give myself a little bit more room because I want to play with it a little bit more. I'm gonna and then at the bottom there's where they've it's it's like the hemming where it's been in the factory and they've hemmed the bottom where they've so I'm gonna cut this away now this does fray but it doesn't matter it's going on my pin book so it really doesn't matter so the first thing you need to do is cut your piece out. Like I said, I'm cutting fabric out. Now, the next thing I'm using is Mod Podge. I'm using the mat. Um, I uh, Maggie suggested using, she, I can't remember what medium she used, but it was mat, it was a mat medium, but I can't remember what um glue she used it wasn't sort of mod podge it was something else i tried these images first very two that i showed you i tried on the tim holtz distress medium and that's what the, they were done with a crazy look now if i had done it with a vintage look they would have come out um brown because the vintage 
is brown it's in a pot and it is brown this was done by mod podge and like i said the color on it it came out perfect perfect right so you'll need one of these brushes like a sponge brush or anything similar to that effect and um, maggie used a roller an actual roller now i haven't got a roller so instead i got my clay um acrylic roller out to roll my image onto my fabric so that's what i'm going to use and um, when i spoke to mag the other day she said that that uh, video that i was using she learned it from somebody else and she put her own spin on it and it was just funny you can print straight onto fabric using your printer i own a piece of yes you can i hear amanda you can you can buy um i've been playing about with i because i want the old look but i don't know whether the fabric paper will do that but yes you can Amanda suggests you can print straight onto fabric using your printer. Iron a piece of saligo stick onto printing paper with spray responsible glue and put it onto your print and print. Hi everyone. Yes, you can. I've been using freezer paper, cutting down to size, paper, ironing it, printed in the print. It does the same thing. But I wanted like, you know, with this, it's got like the image sort of slightly missing and on this one there's not in, any imperfections but this one there is that's what i was after because it makes it look quite old and i was just like like say playing about with images the other day and how to print them out so you need a fair amount on your sponge and all you do is go from top to bottom and Um, put this Mod Podge on now. Like I say, I'm using matte medium. Don't go overboard, that's too much, with your glue because otherwise you won't get the. You won't get the image out. Oops. Right. I think that's enough. Okay. Put this is back on. Right. And I'm going to move this. Clean up this glue. Otherwise, I'll stick to my fabric the other side. Grab your fabric and your picture. Lay it completely flat. Once it is down, it's down. You can't if you go to a movie, you can distort your image. So make sure it's down where you want it to be down. I remind my darling. Right, and then all you do is roll it. Now you need to put a little bit of pressure on this. Um this and what do you call it this image because you want obviously the image to come out on the fabric you turn it this way and this is the way i did it um like i said maggie did it in a way where she ripped the paper she took the paper away from the fabric and then she was left with the image still on the paper and then she was left with the colored version on the fabric and it was quite awesome but i couldn't get it to go like that so instead i did it found a way that I could do it <laughs> easy enough okay a bit more good roll and I'm going quite firm with it because I want these the color to go especially the color to go on this fabric Turn it. Right. So that's what it looks like on that side. And as you can see, it looks like a bit of a, a cloud almost. So the next thing I do, and what I have been doing, is I grab, um, I'm grabbing a wet wipe because it wets, sort of dampens, but not almost wets the my fingertips. 
and I grab the edge, wherever the edge is, and then I'm going to wet this with this wet way first. And I'm just going to rub with my finger. Now it doesn't take long for you to get down to the Told you it didn't take long today. My hands are going a little bit, my fingertips are going a little bit dry. My hands printed off the words as well, which is good. But I don't know whether we're going to see the words because I don't know we'll see how it goes now it's so better than thinner it is is this better on thinner card I don't know Sarah I I haven't tried it on thinner card. I if I get I'll tell you what Chris you can show you the package that the card came in and perhaps that will give you an idea of the thickness of the card that I'm using. Can you pass me the um, um the packaging that the card the card came in? Um, I need to know what thickness the card is. The thickness is 210 GSM. 2 one o one o s m g two what two point zero no no two two hundred and ten two hundred and ten g s m g s m then i seen this technique on your craft youtube channel it's a genius idea yeah not my idea at all i've never claimed it as mine um i saw a similar thing and um, what lead me to do it this way was maggie white she did it and she ripped the page. She, like I said, she had two different images left over. Now, what I did do once I've got it to this point, so it's 210, that's the paper, the paper that I'm using. Now, if you rub too hard with a wet wipe, the ink's going to come off. So, now you could use anything. You can use um, anything you want to use, really. Now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go round where the paper's still on uh, very gently, not even touching the, the, the... You have noticed, and you might have noticed, that the wording is backwards because we've done it backwards. But that doesn't matter because we can... Cut our little fairy out and we can stick her on our book. I thought the word you might be backwards actually. Okay, so that's what I'm left with. See? Now the wording is backwards. It's going to be backwards because of the way I've stuck it on. Um, because if you like, it's like a mirror effect. You want you to one side when when if you look in a mirror, I sort of an opposite effect. You make it look so easy. Do I, Lorna? Do you think so? This is only my fourth attempt. This is not, I'm not um genius at it at all. This is my fourth attempt to at doing it. Um. And I have, this is my first attempt at doing um, the fairy image. Because I haven't done the fairy image before. Right, so we've got this. Now I want our fairy cut out. And I think I'm going to have her on this edge. But 
before I start sticking out and playing around with it, I'm going to leave it dry for a second and I'm going to get a doily out. Sam says, this is such a super cool technique. Definitely going to try this. That looks awesome. Claire. I'm so glad everybody's going to try it. Like I say, it's not my idea to go clean it as my own. I wish it was because it'd be, <laughs> it'd be a very good idea to come up with. But no, it's not my idea. Um, It was just, I was playing about with the idea of the different way of printing uh, my images out of fabric. And I came up with watching different videos i came up with this sort of technique so i'm just getting bits and pieces now of my little um scrapbook my little scrapbook no my little box that i've got next to me and i'm gonna use ah here it is i'm gonna use these type of um images and they're gonna be cut out what is the fabric? Claire, my picture is very blurry. Can you give the camera a lens it won't to see if it helps, please? Right, wait a sec. Maybe it's the light then. Let me... Can you all see that better? That way you can see it better. I think that's a little bit better. Is that a little bit better, guys? That's a bit better. Um, what is the fabric? The fabric that I've used, hi Rose, the fabric I've used is cotton, just ordinary white cotton, there's nothing spectacular about it, it's cotton that I've, um, ordinary white cotton, but you can use any fabric, but bear in mind that if you're going to use a darker fabric, like all these were done on the white cotton, but if you would use, you're going to use something like like a canvas then like these woven bags you might have a bit of difficulty with the image i don't know as i haven't tried it but i i don't know it, it should come out on different fabrics i suppose but i should imagine you, you've just got to be careful of what kind of card and all that you use to go with it so i'm going to cut a few of these out and we're going to make our own embellishment like i made for tammy's challenge and it looks as if i've used quite a lot but i really haven't the laces Oops. right so if I bring that over there, yeah, that should be about the right size. Now I'm going to cover this completely with some sort of, this is um, a real nice pale pink. And I tend to use a high tack fabric. Um, it's not fabric, really. it's, oh, I don't know. You, you can use it for fabric, I use it for paper, I use it for all sorts. Okay, so all I'm going to do is cover this doily in some uh, fabric glue. Fabric glue, I'm calling it fabric glue, but it's not fabric glue. It's high tack all purpose multi glue. That's what it's called. And I'm going to put this real, real light. One there. Well, like I say, ladies, your your CDs won't won't be long. Your CDs will be with you. I promise. Now I've got some pieces, dark pieces, right? Got some dark pieces like so. I'm going to use some of these pieces, but it's a little bit on the 
small size the outside of it. So like I say, Deja's got her 30% discount code off. It's in the description bar below if you want to pop on over for any CDs um, that you want to buy. Um, like I say, each CD has got different elements. I thought they all, all, all had the same elements, but they've all got different elements to it. And I bought a, like I say, I, I, like I showed you, I bought a, um, a CD bomb. It's really used for paper, but I wanted to use it in different ways. So all I'm going to be doing now is just building my picture up on of what I want my theory to be surrounded by. Um, No, that's too big. Just finding like little bits and pieces. I'm going to cut my image out because that will give me some sort of an idea of where I'm looking at for my trims. So, I'm going to go straight across here, across the wording. And I'm not bothered if you can see a little bit at the bottom because um, Platt, what are you working on? What am I working on? Oh, um, it's a pin cushion. I've um, before the live, I've put together the pin cushion. But I'm gonna I'm making the embellishment if you want, if you want to call it that, to go on top. Um it's gonna be a bit like this, except in fairy form, and it's gonna go on top like so, and then we're gonna do the embellishments to go around it. So that's what I'm working on those. So I'm just building um my and what I want on there the wedding appliques I always put on last because um, it's about now I don't know what I want on there and what I don't I tend to sort of play around to see what I can fit on there and what I can't really because sometimes when you're playing you end up getting a better picture of what you want I'm going to use some of these. Where's my scissors gone? Oh, okay, Claire. Beautiful. I did the um, the actual book. Um, it's done by three different types of fabric. Um, the first... Let me use a small scissors. That would be helpful. The first, um, the top fabric, which is this, is like a real, real thick cotton. And it's um, by Laura Ashley. I went into Cardiff. Um, when did I go into Cardiff? A couple of weeks back, I managed to grab some uh, fabric in Laura Ashley's shop for tuppence. And so that's what that's made out. And then the inside, because I didn't have any wadding or batting, I decided that I wasn't gonna go, wasn't gonna go down the route of stressing about it. 
but I was going to use um, thicker fab thicker fabric, like almost like canvas, but not uh, that thick in between. That was my thoughts anyway. That's what I was with it. So that's how I filled it up. And all I'm doing is using sort of, because these are not sort of full pieces. Put these to the side a second. I can stick all this down in a second. Put that up there, like so. That there, and I need another one. Well, actually, no, I don't need. The image has come up really well. But like I say, with the words, because it's like mirrored, a mirrored image, it will come up backwards. Um, the only other thing I can suggest is if you flipped it around before you printed it out. Then you, sh then you would be able to have the word in the right way. Something I've got to really figure out. I don't really know how to do the wording for it to get, for it to make sense on your work. I'm just going to move this out the way because I want to build this up. I've only got two of these, I think. Mm, yeah, we get two of them. Can you see me build it up? It's good in there. So these, I have one of these. I tend to cut in half. There's one there. There's one there. So I'm going to go up there and I'm going to go like so. I'm going to put appliques and what, what not on you anyway. Just hoping you guys can see what I'm doing. Lots of pretty lace. Thank you, Sarah. Looks very delicate with all those embellishments. Thank you. Hiya. Hiya, Festy Moms. Popping in for 15 minutes break to see what is being made. Oh, bless. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Rosie Posey. Oh, bless. Right, so all I'm doing is I'm building this up. And I'm going to cut these in half too. Down the bottom, um, I've been using sort of bigger wedding appliques there cut these in half And then I have got some of these like, oh, where are they gone? Just had them a second ago. 
Like little, oh, there they are. Like little leaf pieces that I've just cut off trims. And all I'm doing is I want to build my picture before. Because I'm going to dye some of these um, trims in a second to match um, the, the actual book. See the book's like a lilac. So I'm going to dye the trim to match. That's what my daughter calls roses. Right, just on the look to see if I've got anything else I want to add to this. I'm going to add some of this to the bottom, I think, just to give it that edge. I may have enough. Yeah, I've just got enough to go around that book. So that gives it enough to the bottom. Just going to take that away. Now, it's at this point where I sort of look at it and I think, what do I want to dye? What do I want to keep as it is? So I'm going to take these off and what I think I might do to match this pink going on and take these off Oops. is I'm going to dye these pink, baby pink to match. Everything else can be glued on. And I'm going to glue this one on. Sorry if you can hear the noise. Could kill my husband. Time. Baby pink. Right. Chris, could you turn it down, please? I don't fancy a YouTube ban. Turn it down, love. Huh? Turn it down. Oh, you can sorry. hear it in here, and I'm going to get a YouTube ban. Well, it's on YouTube. I'm watching. Yeah, well, I, I could still get a banner. What, because somebody's saying quack? No, because I can hear it from in you. On the class of this copyright. I'm playing music, you're right. I'm telling you. Well, I'm going to get rid of this on there. Yeah, YouTube banner, I'll message him and tell him. You get a YouTube banner, he's going to message him and tell him. The message is there, he carries on. Right. <laughs> I'm going to dry these with my heat gun. Um, give them the head start. And they, what I've done with that is it's a watercolour spray shimmer glimpse mist effect. And they're £2.75 off eBay. And that's what I tend to use instead of cosmetic shimmer sprays. Because they're a lot cheaper to buy. Hi, Jamie. They are gorgeous. Right, while that's drying ish, we'll leave that to one side a second. I'm going to pull these little bits at the top so I don't lose them. And I'm going to stick my. Oops. I'm going to stick that um, dangle trim on the bottom. Turn it round. I've just got enough to go around this book. Oops, that's come off again. So I need to I thought it needed more glue.
So um, if you ladies have got any challenges going on, please put it in the comment section below so we all know about your challenge. I've got a challenge running on at the moment, but I'm not saying that because I've got a challenge running on. I'm saying it so that we all know what's going on on YouTube. Because sometimes I'd miss my notifications quite often and I don't know what's going on on YouTube and who's got a challenge. So if you have got a challenge, post it in your comment section. I don't mind at all. Um, I really don't mind. Because you to think then what I was doing. One goes there and I think that's supposed to go just there and then that can go there. Um I know Dawn's got I don't need you to be oh okay Wendy um Dawn's got a Dawn Marie's got a challenge going on she's got a tag challenge um, who else has got a challenge going on? Avril's got a challenge going on. Um, her making anything you want. And she's pop it's ribbon and lace. Um, who else has got challenges going on? I'm trying to think. Have I missed anybody? I'm going to stick this now to my piece. And I'm going to put... Again, I'm using... I'm using um, high tack glue. I don't want to do too much to the fabric so the way you'll cover the fabric. I'll be covering all of it and I don't want to be doing that. So that's where we are at the moment. Okay. Right, now... I'll put that on there. I have a hundred subby challenge making a tag, a fabric tag. That's right, don't you do? Anybody else have a challenge going on? I've got a challenge going on of a, it's a subby appreciation giveaway challenge. Um, so if you're interested in that, you need to go back and comment on the video on the actual video. And it's only a few videos back. Uh, who else has got? Jamie. Yeah, yours yours ends tomorrow, Shaz. And your my entry to yours was posted today. And I paid for next day because I didn't want you to... I didn't want to be late. So you should have it tomorrow. I'm hoping. I'm hoping you should have it tomorrow. I'll be really annoyed if they decide not to give it to you tomorrow. Right, now I'm at the point of sticking the image down. So, I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to stick the image down. And then I am going to add these little pieces that I cut. You know, these half circles. I did cut more, but I can't find them. I don't know where they've gone. There's another one. Right, so I'm going to stick one there. Like I say, guys, Deja's got a code. It's in the description. Um, Sierra told me how to put it in the description. So thank you, Sierra, for letting me know that. Um, don't want it sort of symmetrical. I don't want it off key either. I'm going to stick that one at the back. Let me think. And I'm gonna stick that one. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick it there. 
so it's all about just building now I use the doily because a gives it a little bit more dimension and you could use your scraps for doing this don't necessarily have to use now I've cut my pieces up but you don't necessarily have to use your pieces you could use scraps if you wanted to I'm going to get some um, word and applique out now. I'll put something up a bit. Love all that light and light colours. So pretty. Oh, thank you. Night, ladies. Who's going? Jane, night, Jane. Catch you with another night, Mama. See, oh, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. It's been really nice for you to stop by. So... Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you stopping by. Good night. God bless, my love. So, what have you guys been working on? I mean, I've been showing you, like, little things I've been working on. But has anybody been working on sort of any, any like, any projects? Any challenges? I'm going to stick that there and I'm using up the pieces that I didn't uh, use up right at the very beginning. I'm going to use up again. Now I'm going to start. This is the point where I look to see if there's any more like bits and pieces I want to add. And I've got these dainty flowers that when I did the other one the other day, I sprayed purple or I sprayed, what was I spraying purple for? Come oh, on, yeah, it was purple because I used my cosmetic shimmer. But they're like little daisies, these are, and they're great just for tucking in like little spaces. Can't remember what I was using purple for now, but it looks as if I've used tons and tons and tons of different laces, and I haven't. Is that one just like so there? And I'm gonna stick one. I know I'm gonna stick the other one. And I'm gonna get my wet and applique box up now. Because now is the time to sort of start getting it out of the bag. There. So it's looking beautiful in the lace bag. Oh, that's right. Thank you, Tammy, first of all, for telling me it looks lovely. Look forward to it, Jamie. Bye, Han. Couple of challenges, Dawn says. Got to go, go. Oh, bye, Jamie. I, so, I guess Jamie is Festy Mom's craft room. Working on my subby challenge giveaway video. Oh, wow. And then I'll look out for that. She's probably not you with me now because she's gone. I've been making paper beads with my grandson this evening. Ah, yes, Jamie is. All right, okay, now I remember. I learned today that Therese is... Oh, I'm trying to think her name on YouTube now. Learned the name and I've forgotten who she is on YouTube. Who is Therese on YouTube? Anybody can help, anybody help me? said I've, I've learned her name and I've learned her name and I've forgotten who she is on YouTube what her name what her name is on YouTube what she's known as on YouTube tea Friday thank you Sam right okay so I've got this for now I'm gonna get my wine applique box out oh, what is it oh yes it's at the back and I'm going to put, now I've been using like big pieces, like big pieces up. Okay, so I've got pieces like these. 
um, and I think that would look absolutely stunning on this piece. So what I what I can do just cut around it. ever so slightly cut around it and I'm gonna just tuck it just um, make it go over a little bit more so it sticks up just there there and then this piece which I'm left with She's got all like the what you call it the um got my words are awful tonight. What do you call it? Organza? No? I know what I mean. Check it out after this live, thank you. I love your gold scissors. Oh do you, Tammy. Chris drop um Chris um bought me for Christmas and the actual um, tailored scissors for fabric he paid quite a lot of money from so he I went to cut paper with him the other day and he went Clatch, you're not using that for paper I went no of course I'm not <laughs> of course I'm not why would I do that yeah so he nearly caught me I have it order your message right so just going to cut this down oops sometimes when you all go quiet I think oh I'm not boring but now am I they're still watching and I think, hmm, no, oh, they're still watching. I am bored the life of them there. <laughs> but can you see how you can build something up? And it generally looks as if I've used tons and tons and tons and tons of lace one on top of each other, but I generally haven't. And that's what I loved about making that little embellishment. But I wanted to do the same thing using the the same sort of thing um, making this tonight so I've got a different kind of applique again now this one I need my gold scissors for and what I'm thinking is There, see, and I'm going to cut another one out. These flowers because they're gorgeous. I'm watching. <laughs> oh, bless! Thank you, Shaz. I can't wait for you to receive your entry. I don't know whether you saw the video I did on those bags. I know everybody else did and left amazing comments underneath my videos, which is absolutely immense. And I read every single one of them. I was like, oh my days, look at all everybody saying so nice things about me. Nearly made me cry. So I want to thank you all for doing that because it does mean a lot and it does go a long way when you're um when people leave nice comments into your videos. And you think, guys? So what time is it with you all now? I'm going to put another one just there. Or well, maybe a bit too much there. I'm going to cut it in half. What time is it with you? Claire, I'm loving your project. It is looking beautiful. Be blessed and nice weekend to all. Oh, thank you, Rose. 
thank you so much. Okay, won't be long, won't be long, right, so this bottom part, um, and there's a couple of things that I want to do first of all, um, as for like putting the little snippets on, I think I'm pretty much done now, um, I want to put, right, I want to put some dangles because I need for this all to dry for me to do the inside, now the inside, like I said, I've sewed on the edge side. I'm going to put some lace down here and it's going to be all laced around. But I want to do um, the tie, which is going to be here. And then I'm going to pick one cent, one sort of piece of applique just to go in the middle now. This seems the perfect thing. If I can cut it down, which I think I can just to go in the center yeah look see okay and like I say um Deja's Co to a shop, a shop and the co for thirty percent off. It only lasts till twelve tonight, and it is in the description bar. It's code sign for thirty percent off, and but it only lasts for twelve o'clock tonight, which is not long. There, I'm gonna stick that in there. And I'm just going to get some dangles with the inside of the room. Um, okay, so I keep all my scrap dangles on one sort of dangles. There's a minimum ten pound spend for the code to work. There isn't. There shouldn't be, Sarah. Sarah, sorry, I keep calling you Sarah. I've never cut lace up small like that before. So nice we learn something new every day. Oh bless. Thank you, Karen. There shouldn't be. If this is news to me, it shouldn't be the you should be able to use the code. You sure that it's you sure that it, that's what it says on the website? Like I say, it's news to me if the, if it if that's what it says on the website. It's news to me because I just got told that there was a code um, of thirty percent on what the code was called, where the website was, what you know, to tell you all that the code was there. So all I'm doing is I'm tucking some of this. It's like sari silk ribbon behind. And then I keep my scraps, uh, oh God, scrap pieces of uh, lace, if you want to call it, on um, a real thin um, bit of, um, what you want to call it? I've got some of this. Oh, you can't really see. I love your fat camera focus. Come on, camera. There, now you can see it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And it'll go beautiful with that green. So I'm going to cut all these in half. Um, one there. One there. And these. 
never find my scissors. I've done that before. I Has anybody ever done that where they've... I tried to order a CD-ROM and it said the code was not applicable. If goods were ten pound, then the code works. Well, that's news to me. That is genuine news to me. Um, no. I don't know what to say to that. It doesn't make sense. It should work. They should work. I think that's a little bit too thick. It should work. But if you're saying it, if it, if it's only, if it only takes um ten pound orders, then I like I said, I don't know what to say. can put an applique or something over that to tie it off with. Right, where's that? Um, don't tell me I have to be back in the box. No, I haven't. I put it back in the box. I didn't stick it down. Right, let me get rid of all these. Oh, night, Tammy. Thank you for stopping by. How much is the CD? I think it's £8.50 without looking. I think without looking that's news to me I um Sarah I'll have to um ask DJ on that when I come off because she's not um on live with us she usually is but she's not tonight why where did I get this piece from where did it fall out of the year the year I think no I think I can see where it fell out and it fell out a year Here. Right, um, that's the, the that trim is too big, so I'm going to use now. I bought these ribbons, you really know, I'm just move one box because otherwise they'll all, all top one for me. These ribbons they were 18 in hobby craft for four pounds, um, and they're all different colors. And they are satin ribbon or silk, one or other. Satin, I think. Um, with my little scissors, and I just think it would work perfectly if I just tucked it underneath and dangled it down. And I'm gonna turn it, and I'm gonna put some on that end. And then you know that um, wedding applique that I cut, I'm going to cut some more off and I'm going to drape it just down this edge to A to hold this lace in and B for something nice to go on the back and that's the only thing that I'm going to do. Right so this is the applique that I'm talking about and I think I think I should use it all. I wouldn't normally cover the Laura Ashley fabric, but I'm tempted to use it all. I'm going to stick this on the back. So I'm just going to cut the um, silk Come on. ribbon all the way around. Is there? It's a beautiful an applique, and I, I can't believe I had it given to me by my lovely friend Shirley. Gave me this, along with some other gorgeous appliques. But this was the one piece where she gave me, and I haven't used it on anything. And. Let's move this out the way. There. I'm going 
going to, instead of putting the um, glue on the thing, I'm just going to put it on this instead of. Because that means the it'll sink into the, when I stick it down, it'll stick onto the fabric. Because it's a word and applique, it's going to take a little bit more um, glue than usual to stick down. Right. Where did that be? That way. I think I did. Where did that way? I'm trying to work out why this isn't fitting, and I wondered why. Why? Because I did it the wrong way. And I think. Yeah, I can cut that down just ever so slightly. There. And cut down these ribbons. There. Well, that's got a little bit of glue in, so I'm gonna have to wait for that to go in the package. So that is my uh, fairy little thing. Now, like I said, I'm going to have to wait for the outside to dry for me to do the inside. And why is that come off? Oh, Claire, you're such a donut. It's come off because I haven't put glue on it. Uh -huh. Fine, let me have a look. I actually cut it as well. Right, I'm gonna put that there. And that one there. Stick them all down. Right, I'm gonna move everything out the way so you can get clearly see it in a nicer, bigger scale. There. Isn't that just beautiful and that's using the cd-rom um but like you say um who was it that said to me about you have to use ten pound and over is it sarah did you say it to me like i say it was news to me i i didn't know that ladies if i was ever to told you right at the very start there and uh, all i'm doing now I'm just cutting, just sticking these little last few bits pieces down. I'm not going to give this away, ladies, tonight because it's actually going to go to a friend of mine. Um, I usually give everything away in my lives. I'm not saying who it's going to um, because she'll no doubt do a video, which I think she will. Um, but I'm not giving it away tonight for that reason because um, I wanted to make something for her to have you know a, a, well I say a piece of me but you know what I'm trying to say um I think I'm gonna have to stick them in a bit more than what I have done because they're not actually sticking for some reason this keeps coming out I'll sort the thing drops well anyway um that's what I've done with DD you can do it with any image you want um i'm gonna wait for it to completely dry for me to do the inside and um i tell you what i did do what did i do on oh i did it on a bag that i did and i made like a little charm and i might make a little charm to put on the side but as you can see, that looks as if I've used tons and absolutely tons and tons of lace. But I haven't. It's just snippets. Uh, it's a good way to use your snippets up. Um, and like I say, the image comes out perfectly on the fabric. And then, then on the back, I put this beautiful wedding applique. You can still see my little Ashley fab um, fabric. And I will wait for it to be completely dry before I start working on the inside. So that's my little project. And like I said, I bought the Enchanting Relam Fairy CD ROM. And I made a different 
thing out of it instead of using it for papers i've made it into a fabric rather than paper so everybody's saying beautiful it's beautiful beautiful crack thank you karen thank you sam thank you Joel. julian says it's gorgeous thank you julian sarah says it's beautiful and Angie says another stunning girly. Thank you so much, Angie. Thank you, everybody, for joining me tonight. Thank you for all the thumbs up. It's on 15. That's amazing. Um, I said it last time I did the CD-ROM. It was when I was... I've been looking at it all night. And you ladies have been awesome been giving me the thumbs up. I don't usually look at the thumbs up. But just lately, it's um a little thing that's been inspiring me to do more videos for you all. Um, I have got more videos to do and to show you. I will be back showing you how to make the this sort of embellishment. I made it onto a, a thing. It's the same thing, but I'm going to do it in a video format. Um, but I made this slightly a bit different. Um, and I wish I'd put that on fabric, but it's not. Hope you like that though, Tammy, because that's coming your way. Um, and I won't be too long with your CDs, ladies, Tammy and Angie. Um, they are on their way to YouTube. I want to make you a few things to go with it, of course. It's got to be done. So um, I am going now. Um, thank you for joining me. If you'd like to still hear my voice and you're not fed up, I am popping over to Laurel, who has been marvellous. She's been waiting for me to do my live in order to do hers, and I can't thank her enough for that. And her channel is Forever Purple Creations by Laurel Natkins. I can't pronounce her second name, but I'm on Laurel's channel. Um, in what? How many minutes, Laurel? Good night, ladies. Thanks, Claire. Good night, Angie. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Gillian. I can't remember. I can't, don't know what time I'm with Laurel, but it shan't be long. Uh, but if you keep a look out on her channel, I'll be over there with Laurel. I should imagine Sierra. Um, I don't know who else is joining us. A little less than 30 minutes. There we are, 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. Sierra says, beautiful. Thank you, but thank you for beautiful projects. Thanks for an amazing tutorial. Well, thank you, ladies, for joining me. Um, like I say, pop on over to DJ Shop and type in the code. You've got another 55 minutes till the code ends. And I will catch up with you all next Friday um, at 9 o'clock. But like I say, if you can't wait and you want to hear me more talk to you, thank you for the thumbs up. They go in as I speak. Um, I'm over in Laurel's channel, Forever Purples, Creations, Laurel, in less in no less than 30 minutes. So I will speak to you all then. Thank you for joining me and I will catch up with you next week or a bit later on. Bye for now, ladies. Bye. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll speak to you then. Bye, ladies. Bye for now.